Damien, describe just what the last few days has been like for you. And not just the last few days, probably the last few months, you know, it was only three, four months ago and you know, with Shamrock Rovers under 15s, uh, playing in the National League there and all of a sudden I'm on the touchline last night for Celtic first team. So um, yeah, I guess you have to have a giggle about the last couple of days. It's probably the quickest promotion known to man in any job. But uh, listen, I'm ready, I'll, I'll crack on with it. Um, I know the role, I know the club, it's a massive honour. Um, and I know you're, it's more than a club, I guess, like Barcelona's motto. Um, here you're fighting for more than that, you're fighting for a cause, and I understand that. And I know what the club means to the fans, and it means the same to me, so I'm ready. Yeah, you were at the, the reserve game in your coaching role on, on Monday at Rugby Park, then you're there celebrating the last minute winner last night. You know, I'm going to ask you what that moment meant for you, because looking at the scenes, it, it looked like it meant a lot. Well, like I said, I understand the club and, you know, even Celtic football club aside, uh, myself and football, I'm just all about emotion and enthusiasm. That's me, so uh, I'll probably go hand in hand with the gaffer on that. Uh, it'll be John trying to calm the two of us down, but um, yeah, listen, it was an amazing win. I think it, it makes a statement, you know, the rest of the league will be, I guess, smelling blood maybe after the gaffer left. But um, no, listen, it's, it's in safe hands with Neil coming in and, and John there as well. Did you know at the time that you'd inadvertently punched Johnny Hayes in the face? Uh, no, it's only uh, the lads obviously giving me a bit of stick after. Uh, it's not even my good hand, but Johnny looks like he took a little wobble as well. So, um, no, listen, I was um, over-exuberant maybe, but I said that's football. Losing a manager on such a central figure at the club as, as Brendan Rodgers, I suppose there's a, there's a risk there of, of, of derailment, of, of confusion, of perhaps a bit of instability. Did, did the reaction from yourself and John and Neil and the players last night to that game just, just show the relief that that didn't happen? I think so, yeah. I think it speaks volumes. Yeah, I think we possibly made hard work, but especially in the second half when they're down to 10 men. But, you know, I think the, the club responded brilliantly as well. You know, uh, Brendan... Had his deal done. Peter was straight on the phone to Neil, and they were, we were ready to announce Neil as the gaffer as well. So, um, you know, carry on as before. Yeah, Brendan's a massive loss to the club. For me, he's created the best footballing team that I think the league has ever seen up here. And like I said, it's in no better hands with the gaffer now to, to carry things on. He, he credited you last night, you know, yourself and John, with that victory last night. In, in the run up to that game, did you feel that kind of onus of responsibility getting the team ready? A little bit, listen, I'll pass it all on to John. I think John, you know, got the team ready, you know, I was just there just to, to help in any way I could. Um, and that'll be the way it is till the end of the season. And listen, we'll see where it takes me. I know uh, Gaffer's in now, he needs to prove himself and, you know, hopefully stay on after that and prove himself by winning trophies. And it's the same with me, I'm just in, I guess, till the end of the season. I'm not getting carried away with, with things. I know how football can change, just like it has changed in the last week. So, um, no, it's just head down and carry on.